Come on. Oh God. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm running around filming some things today. I'm actually on my way from Brunswick back to Canton and uh, I decided to pull over here for a minute and I found a Spirit Halloween that is inside an old MC Sports. Let me go on the other side here a minute and I'll show you the, uh, the label scar. Yeah, this one you can see really clear. The one on the other side is covered up by the Halloween, uh, the Spirit Halloween sign, but let's go on in here. This is a huge store. I'm really curious to see if they have anything different than the other ones. I think David's Retail Adventures. I think he lives in this area and he may have filmed this. I'm not positive, but uh, if he did, shout out to your brother. Okay, yeah, I love the way this one looks. And look what's front and center, Pennywise. <laughs> Let's step on this thing and see if he works better than the other ones I've seen. Ugh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I can't hear what he's saying. It's so quiet, but he jumped up and scared the living crap out of me. Okay, we got the Reefers Wharf. Reapers, not Reefers. The Reapers Wharf set up here like any other stores. This is Bubba here. You'll see him jump out in a second. Ugh. That was a good one. He was nice and loud. He actually made me jump. All right, so the Reaper's Wharf. Oh my God, they do have, I've never seen that clown anywhere yet. These are pretty much all set up the same way in these stores. I called this one Sitting Jack the other day, but it's actually Jack Straw. See if he works. Come on. It actually did scare me because it took him took a minute. I'm like stomping on the thing over here. Here comes the jumping spider. <laughs> that spider is actually one of my favorites. Okay, let's keep looking around here. There should be another one sitting over here, but there's not. All right, let's walk through here a minute. Can't think of what this guy's name is. Uh. I can't think of what his name is. Experimental Eddie, I think it is. Okay, now look at this ginormous clown here. I don't think I've seen him in any other stores. He, he's so huge, I'm almost afraid to step on this thing, but... Crap, it's gonna make me stomp on it a couple times. Look at this, his hands are right here. So when I step on this, I have to be right up in his hands. <laughs> I can't get him to work, but look at this guy. When I step up on this, it puts me right in his arms. So I don't know if he's gonna like grab me or what, but his face is right there. <laughs> oh, here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, crap. I mean, he just... He just laughs. Okay, that was a lot less than I expected. I thought maybe the arms were gonna, like, try to grab me or something. But it was scary enough standing right there in his arms. Alright, I have not seen this one anywhere either. So here we go. That's pretty cool. Three-headed wolf. And of course there's this guy who I've seen in almost all of them. Let's work our way around here. Ooh. I have seen this one. I'll show you for anybody who's watching this for the first time. He's actually making sounds. He got caught in the web. Now I have not seen this one set up anywhere, so I don't know what he does, but let's find out. OK. 
okay. I mean, that's pretty cool for an animatronic. Not scary, but... And here's this guy. I know that when I step on this, he's gonna lunge. You there! You wanna play a game? Yes, please. Then I get to eat you! Gotcha! Ah, well, I'll just have to catch the next one, then. Yeah, that's a good one. I really like that one. When they lunge at you, it scares the living crap out of you. Okay, let's see if they have anything different in terms of Freddy or Michael. Jason. Uh, this is pretty much what I'm seeing everywhere. Alright, let's see. Here's Chucky. and You know, like, I, I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen the girls version anywhere. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. Whoops. I don't think I've seen this one anywhere. That's a pretty awesome Jason mask. 40 bucks. That's nice and thick and heavy. Look how thick that is. 40 bucks. That's a good mask for 40 bucks. I always like this stuff. I love Karate Kid. Cobra Kai. I should buy that hat. Cobra Kai hat. $22. I don't think I can get myself to spend that money right now. Okay, let's go on over to the Spirit Aquarium. We've been through this in the other stores, but... Alright, let's see how this guy's working, because everywhere he seems to work a little different. <laughs> I never heard it talking before. And I expected that the face would, like, jump out real fast, but he doesn't. He moves real slow from side to side. There he goes. Okay. Spirit Aquarium. Here we go. I hear him coming already. There's Mr. Shark. Great White. Sunken Treasure. That's what I wanted you to see when the shark comes flying up and smashes out through the glass there. And there's a little bit of fog going. Just the slightest a bit. The slightest amount. The slightest a bit of fog. <laughs> okay. Go on out here. I see Michael Myers already. We're going to go check those out in a second. But I want to see the animate, uh, animatronics over here. And it looks like they have the same setup as pretty much everywhere. I think this guy's, yeah, motion activated. You look like a natural for our freak show. If you need a job, I'll introduce you to the boss, but uh, all applicants must be dead. Look at his nose lights up. <laughs> Alright, this guy's supposed to move his mouth and his eyes. Of course, his mouth isn't moving. Then we got the sisters. Double trouble. Come on, Double Troubles, work. There we go. Talk to me, ladies. Talk to me. What in the world? All right. Wait, here we go. Everybody has a good childhood memory. You're teasing me now. Talk. <laughs> They're just teasing me. All right. See if this one will work right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that one works better than any of them I've seen so far. I mean, any of this one. She's called Abandon Annie. That's the best working one I've seen yet in one of these stores. Here is Experimental Eddie. He's the one that I said was up in the boat there. He works pretty good. Okay, let's check this chick out. Demonic Dahlia. I think she just, yeah, she jumps out at you. Okay, so here we go. Come on. 
<laughs> oh god! <laughs> Why these ones are like making me stomp on them? That's actually a better effect than when you just tap it and then she jumps up. Okay, and we got one more here, and this is the girl that scared the living crap out of me at the one in uh, St. Clairsville, I think it was, at the old Sears. <laughs> one at the Sears was set up so that she was hanging right, that when she jumped up with her head like that, it was right in my face. Look guys, I haven't seen this anywhere else. Nightmare Before Christmas Monopoly. That's pretty awesome, man. I haven't seen that anywhere. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. Here is, I don't think I've seen this one, the Grim Graven Angel. That one might be left over from one of the previous years. And I know there's a few people who will tell me. Oh, here we go. Cerebrus, the three-headed wolf dog thing, whatever it is. Area 31 capsule. Oh my god, I have not seen that one. That is so cool. That may be my favorite one ever, and it's on clearance. Hold on, I might buy it. All right, I'm not going to buy it, but that is pretty cool. It seems that I remember seeing him in action a couple years ago in one of these. All right, let's see. I think I've seen all these other ones here. Okay. Let's go back over here to, wow, that's a stocked aisle. But let's go back over here to where we saw the uh, Michael Myers mask. Hey, I haven't seen this pillow anywhere. Michael Myers sleigh pillow. Oh, I haven't seen these either. Pennywise pathway markers, those are pretty cool. I love when these stores have different things I haven't seen in in uh, in other ones. That's a pretty cool water bottle. I ought to get that. All right, let's head over here. I think I've seen all this except for except for this one right here. This blanket. I wish it was Friday. That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god! I don't think I've seen this one either. That's pretty cool. Nightmare on Elm Street blanket. Okay, got to check out the Michael Myers masks over here. Ooh, the old MC Sports in there. Look at this. Woods and water sign. <laughs> I know, they don't like me to go behind the scenes, so I'm not going to, but let's see here, though. I don't think I've seen that version of the Chucky mask. That's a pretty good one. Ghost face. I have not seen any of the... Uh, the new fluorescent black light reactive ghost faces anywhere. I mean anywhere. Online, in any stores, only my eBay store. Okay, so here's Halloween one mask. Not too shabby. This is the worst one I've ever seen. Halloween Michael Myers the beginning. Worst Michael Myers mask ever. Here's the newer one here. That's a pretty good mask. Halloween 2. That's a pretty good one too. And I believe that's a Halloween 2 up there. And I don't see any more Michael Myers masks. This is actually a pretty good looking fake leather face mask. It's pretty simple, but that looks pretty decent. This guy's a T-Rex mask with moving jaw. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> President Pout. Okay, that looks exactly like him. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, we got the superheroes. Here's all the kids stuff over here. I think that's pretty much it for the adult masks. Pretty good looking store though. It's set up really nice. Most of the animatronics worked good and everything. All right guys. I think that's it. I think we've seen everything in here. That was some awesome animatronics. I love the ones that like required me to stomp on them to get them to work and then they jump right up in my face. So, all right, I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If I find any more spirits, I will definitely film them. See you guys later.